what's up how y'all doing so we're gonna start off the blig the blizzog with this kind of i've been seeing this going around a lot i wish that i can explain it to you but i can't so we're gonna watch the video together and then we're gonna experiment and you're gonna watch me do it so let's get into the video Here's my favorite hack to help tone down dark underarms and to get rid of odor. Use a toner that you have lying around as deodorant, but make sure it contains AHAs or BHAs. I love using the Ordinary's Glycolic Acid Toner or this one from Saturday Skin. Using chemical exfoliants as a deodorant is actually incredible because they help to lower the pH of your underarms. And this actually neutralizes the bacteria that causes odors while exfoliating the skin and brightening it at the same time. Okay, so now that we watched the video together, let me just give you a background about what I got going on over here because I feel like I need to explain myself. Um, I stopped using deodorants that contain aluminum mm, well over a year ago. I use Native. It looks like this. This is one of my favorite ones. It's coconut vanilla. Oof, the writing kind of wore off, but it looks like this. I love Native. Um, I... I've never had a problem sweating, but until I start using Native, um, I do sweat in my arms now, but it's kind of natural to sweat. Do you want to clog it up and risk like cancer and a lot of, what it, what is it like early Alzheimer's? Like it's like so many things that is linked to that aluminum um, in your deodorant. So I made the switch. I don't get funky in this, but what I've noticed that I, I started kind of like, it was good. The summertime was good. The wintertime was excellent. Now, I don't know, the, the extra workouts and like the extra yogas and that sweaty, it wears off and I have to reapply it. But I'm just looking for a solution to, you know, smell all good. But um, I heard people say they still rotate between using the deodorant and then this hat here. Um, I'm going to just let y'all know if I'm going to start smelling. Okay. We're going to see. Now, um, People say that you can use um, any AHA or BHA. This is a BHA. I've seen somebody use this before. A lot of people say take heed if you are a person of color using this because they say it's not made for people of color because I guess it's kind of high in the AHA. It's 30% AHA, 2% BHA. I've had a lot of success with this product. It did not do anything to my melanin skin um, but help it. <laughs> like I said, um, I had really... Um, bad problems with my skin. I'll probably put the picture here in case um, you didn't see my last vlog because I mentioned it. But this is one of the products I used. Um, I'm kind of scared to use that. I did pick up this glycolic acid toner. It's not a specific brand. I just went into like a TJ Maxx, came out, I looked for it, trying to see, you know, trying to see what they're going to do for the cheap. It was $4.99 and this is how it looks. I don't know nothing about the brand. I just know it got the active ingredient that I need. I also have a lactic acid. I love lactic acid. It's a little, it's a little more gentle and more approved for, you know, melanated skin. I don't really know. Should I try the new one? Should I try this one? Should I do it under each pit? My pits used to be a lot lighter, especially since I do not shave under my pits. I only wax it. And yeah, it, it, I feel like it was getting lighter. It, it, I feel like lately it's been looking a little darker though. I don't know if it's been the glow. So we about to get started. I just got out of the shower. Everything's clean. I'm not sweating, nothing like that. So I think I'm gonna do the new one in the lactic acid. This is by The Ordinary. It's a 10% lactic acid and um, hyaluronic acid. So we, we just gonna go ahead. And I will keep y'all updated if I get mercy or not. So here goes nothing. I, I did see one girl say that she tried this hack and her underarms were burning for hours. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm so scared. But okay, this is, it is kind of burning. Not a bad burn. But. It's kind of burning up top. Maybe I got to open. I don't know. I'm going to put a little bit more on there. And then I'm going to let y'all see how the cotton pad looking. Because um, another video that I watched, I did my research. Um, this girl cotton pad, even though she had took a, a shower and everything, it was a little darker. So I'm just trying to make sure I got it all on there. Because I ain't trying to be busted. Now, I say it does not stop you from sweating, though. 
it is kind of tingling under that arm let me put the lid back on this because I don't want to knock it over because I'm clumsy. So I'm going to try the glycolic acid toner under here. I wish, I wish it gave me information. Just let it dry. Just let it dry. I wish it gave me information about the percentage, but I looked at the ingredients list and it's literally like one, two, three, four, five. It's the sixth ingredient out of many. So it's pretty high on the list. I mean, it, it probably contain, you know, a nice amount. Here we go. I like the spray a lot better. Still probably was way too much, but <laughs> for the culture, one more. Smell kind of good. This has watermelon, apple, and cucumber asterisk. So, mm, I might, this might be the move. This looks so gross, but I'm gonna let it dry and we're gonna continue the vlog. I'll just let y'all know if I get sweaty. Let me turn the air off. Well, I know it's supposed to get sweaty, but it's supposed to cancel out the bacteria, which causes smell from one of your arms. If people wearing if people are not wearing deodorant and they're using this product, I need to know what it is. Cause yeah. <laughs> I'm chilling right now. I know I need to be walking out of the house right now. It's a pleasant day. It's almost 90 degrees. I feel like this is the hottest day in Texas so far this year. Um, I know I need to go to TJ Maxx. My nose itching. Don't y'all hate when y'all nose be itching like right here? So you got to keep scratching it and it kind of look like you're digging in your nose, but you're not the most annoying thing ever. Anyways, I got to take these. Um, I don't know if they're like brolic, sports bra, something. I got to take them back to TJ Maxx because I ended up um, buying a size large. Um, but the band, like the waist part, is too loose for me. So, I'm going to see, can I find a medium or just get my money back? And that's, that's something that's so annoying because it's like, I'm kind of in between sizes. Like, the band on the medium um, fits, but the cup on the large does so it's like do i sacrifice and have a loose fitting you know what i'm saying top with the large or do i just sacrifice some of the room inside the cup part of the medium i'm gonna go with the latter <laughs> um oh i almost dropped it but i'm tying my hair down because my edges okay hold on so i always use my little do raggy looking thing to tie my edges down, it ain't nothing special, but they laid though. You know what I'm saying? It's laid. I could never get this side to look like this side. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and accept the fact that they distant cousins. They ain't even sisters right now, <laughs> but they laid though. So, um, let me show y'all the bra. They're so cute. I like these kind of tops. Um, that's soft, not too, um, not too high impact of a sports bra but and it's really soft to do yoga in you know what i'm saying it's really nice comfortable material but it's just it's too big it's too big to the point where i feel like it's it's too loose and my boobies be falling out sometimes like if i do yoga i don't know i don't like it i just need i need to try to me and if y'all know how long I had these, see, I lost a receipt when I moved, but I just found it. So let's go shopping. So this is my little outfit of the day. Super plain and simple, relaxed, comfortable, still dragging the wagon. Come on, come on. Y'all, I know I supposed to be. Hold on, who beeping at who? Huh, it wasn't me. Anyways. I know I'm supposed to be going to TJ Maxx, y'all, but on the cool, like, I got a gift card. I got a couple gift cards for Sephora. I know. It can't be. It can't. I'm going to just act like it can't be. Because I know the smoke went behind me. Because I was doing everything I needed to do. But anyways, I got a couple cards for Sephora. But why Sephora closed at 7 o'clock now? 7 on the weekend like it's giving me very much musty vibes like who how ma'am how sir 
anyways pit stop we about to holler at ross real quick my uncle ross bagging in bag up gang where you at gonna get it right on the first try where you at Look what I found, y'all. They got the main choice in here. This is awkward because they never have the main choice. But if this y'all thing, y'all probably need to check y'all um, Rosses. They actually have a couple of them, but this isn't one of my like staple products, and I ain't finna just buy it because of the price. I ain't got time for that. I got way too much product that I need to get rid of. Hmm. It's a little messy in here. So this is a steel. These are the um, seamless um, ties that I like to put on my hair. I never had so many colors. Really don't need the pink. But for this price, I will take it. Yeah, I'm going to forever love this store. Like, look. So much cute stuff. This one. What's another one? I like this one. It's like, but I know I can't buy all of this stuff. I know I can't. They have a black one. They have a pink one. This color's cute. This color's cute. This color's cute. Like, oh my gosh. Y'all sleep, bruh. Like, y'all, look at the freaking bralettes. They're so cute. I love the color, too. $7.99. What? I really be legit feeling like a kid in a candy store. This is cute, too. Okay. Cute. It's not too pink. Let's see how much this one. $8.99. Y'all, I am freaking hyperventilating. I gotta get it. Yes. Woody Hutton. Woody Hutton. It's pretty safe to say I need to get out of this store because I just came to look. And I'm finding too many things that I like. Oh my gosh. So I've been waiting for them to put a blue yoga wheel in here. So far I've seen like teal, pink, but I don't want that color. So I've been on a challenge y'all not to buy any kind of black tops because I love me a good black shirt. It's just so nutrient go with everything. Black is one of my favorite colors. But I had to get the Witty Hutton shirt, y'all. Like, I had to get it. Witty Hutton, come on now. I love her. <laughs> and y'all already know what I mean by Witty Hutton. I know her name is Whitney Houston, but, you know. But anyways, I was in there looking at steering wheel covers, too. This one kind of old. It used to have a Steelers logo on it, but I probably had it for several years now, and it's wore off. So, take it how you, take it how you get it. You're going to take it how I give it to you. <laughs> On another note, I just found a random number in my car. Somebody wrote it on a piece of paper, and I can't remember where it came from. Is my memory the only one this bad? Like, where? who gave me this number? This is not even my handwriting. Oh, well, before I decided to go in, I know y'all about tired of me. <laughs> Before I decided to go in, I was like, let me look at this receipt. Why the receipt say refunds within 30 days of receipt? I don't want a refund. I just want an exchange. So, and then it says store credit only with a gift um, receipt. This was in March, y'all. <laughs> this was in March. Y'all think they're going to let me exchange? I don't want a refund. Just give me a good old store credit. I'm sure finna see. Okay, so run down on a quick little haul. I didn't really get much. I went ahead and got this like sports bra um, top thing because it's trimmed in black. And like I said already, like it's just so easy to pair, throw on some black bottoms, easy yoga, easy yoga flow fit. Also, I got this little crop right here. It's cool. I got it in a size large. I feel like a medium could have worked with me. See what crops is like. If it stop, if it's cropping and stop like at my waist waist, um, 
then a medium will do because that's where I feel like my waist is. But if it's a full tank, then I do large because, you know, <laughs> got a little cushion in the front, you know what I'm saying? But um, it's still, it'll work. I mean, the outside open, so, you know, it's going to get worn. Um, also, I got this t-shirt, which I basically let me keep it g i just got it because of the color and i got shoes that color it's just really easy to throw on and look cute and of course i got the witty hut <laughs> whitney <laughs> i love you i love you whitney now this is my girl though and of course it's blue so it's perfect also, I didn't really get much from TJ Maxx. I got a picture frame. I broke my picture frame. It fell off the TV. Um, my mom's picture. So I had to replace it. It's really cute. Also, if y'all follow All of Destiny, shout out to you, girl. And Sakara. They also, um, both of them be raving about like pink sugar. And I know online, um, I hope they ain't lowered it. But the last time I checked, this was like 30 something. And I got it for 21 so it's a it's a cute little summer light flow sweet scent you know what i'm saying summer light um so yeah that is what i got and so let me let y'all in on a little secret um it ain't really no secret but i feel like a lot of people be sleep i like t-shirts that's not the secret it's just so comfortable you can dress a t-shirt up t-shirts can be cute you can make it work you know what i mean so a lot of people well i've gotten compliments on a lot of like my t-shirts like printed people like where you get that from it be ross or tj maxx or something like that but the secret is i always go to the men's um section and get their t-shirt i get a, i'll go to the medium men's and they be having a cute they be have a lot of cute t-shirts um and uh, some of the colors be like girly colors you know girl dudes like Say for instance, like a black t-shirt, like a pink writing. So you, you know what I'm saying? You can, you got something to work with. You know what I'm saying? Black goes with everything. And if it pinks your color, you can dress it up however you want. It's just cute to wear it, rock with like some, let not leggings, but um, like some biker shorts. You know, it's a cute little look if you know how to do it right. So yeah, that's my secret. I've been getting my t-shirts, a lot of my like pretty t-shirts or a lot of my t-shirts come from the men's departments of like Ross and TJ Maxx and stuff like that. Yeah. So anyways, I'm about to, I'm about to cook and I know y'all been trying to say, oh, we, do, we want you to do a recipe. We want you to do a recipe. But the thing is, <laughs> I'm about to do something really simple. So it's really not much to follow. Okay. Um, the thing is, I haven't had spaghetti in so long. And I remember on the live and some people were telling me stuff they cooked. And I was like, dang, I ain't had no spaghetti in a long time. But recently I found this meat that tastes, it's the closest kind of non-meat, mimicking meat that tastes like real meat. The texture, a lot of people, first of all, uh, cauliflower with a little hot sauce and barbecue sauce in the oven does not taste like meat it don't taste like hot wings cut it out you know what i'm saying that's coming from somebody who don't even eat meat and like meatless meat products it does not taste good okay but let me show y'all i feel like i mentioned this before on social media but if y'all don't follow me let me run it by you again okay so this brand here i don't know how to say it. it's dr um prager's um they have a perfect uh plant-based uh ground beef it's like 20 grams of like plant protein it looks like this this right here it mimics the texture perfectly and, and if you what is going on on my tv about to turn off and if you um season it right it tastes good um my sister we had made like some rotel dip with this one time and my sister was like this tastes just like me you season it right the texture it mimic it is good so i'm about to make me some spaghetti sorry y'all wanted a more extravagant meal but i'll be right back <laughs> i'm done with my spaghetti and is it what i remember because i ain't had spaghetti y'all probably way before i stopped eating meat Mm, it's probably been over five years so i really wanted some you can't even tell that there's fake meat in there but um yeah it's good <laughs> it is good i put a little cheese on top too mm. 
I ain't trying to convince y'all, but it is good. Okay, y'all, so I'm about to hit y'all with an in-depth review. I did want to come to y'all after just playing around with, you know, the toners and the underarm thing. I didn't want to just hit y'all with it after one day. So, it's been about three days since I've been kind of working with it. What I can tell y'all, the one, the glycolic one that I sprayed on here, I want my money back, okay? And I feel like it's not bad. It really held up, especially for no deodorant. But by the end of the day, right before my shower, I literally had to, like, keep doing this. And I was like, it's a faint, very faint. And I feel like, um... Maybe the asterisks, like the watermelon asterisk and stuff like that, because that's a fragrance. Maybe it kind of got in, got in the way, you know what I'm saying, of like being odor-free because there is a smell, which the, the lactic acid does not have a smell. That lactic acid armpit did so good that I just, I want my money back for the spray. Like, do y'all think they're going to take it back? But, um, yeah, it's it was great. Um, There is a little bit of discoloration when you first um use it. It did burn a little bit, just a, it's, it ain't gonna say burn because that's exaggerating. It's a little tingle the first time I use it, but what I can say is I don't experience that like after that initial um, application. Um, I'm just gonna be putting um, here in the uh, little cotton pads here so y'all can kind of see um, what what's happening each time I use it. Sometimes it's a little bit of discoloration on the cotton pad, sometimes it's a lot. Now, the one that you see that it's a lot. Um, I showered and at night I was like, you know what? I'm going to see if I can go to bed with no deodorant or anything. I'm going to see if I sweat. I'm going to see if I produce a little odor and nothing happened. I woke up just as odor free as like I had used deodorant. Like, how is this even possible? I feel like I've been <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I feel like I've been sleep on, um, on this, like. So yeah, I'm kind of pissed because I use I use my lactic acid, bro. Like I really like this for my skin. This has been a game changer. Uh, it's it's kind of a, a a lighter exfoliant than like a regular AHA or BHA, um, but it still works because yeah. Um, what else did I have to tell y'all about this product? But like. <sighs> I don't know. I just want to scream like try this product. Um, a lot of people say, well, the from the millions, I don't say millions, from the a lot of from the tons of videos, excuse my speech, y'all. I'm trying to I feel like I'm trying to just spill all this out to y'all. And it's it's kind of an overload because <laughs> y'all probably like try to take notes to try to see what's going on. But people say that okay, you still gonna sweat um under your arms a little bit there's not gonna be any odor but from my experience doing yoga doing outside workouts i'm talking about literally just dripping in sweat there still wasn't a lot of moisture under my arms um like it normally is so i feel like i was doing it too much like because it, it kind of gets the blind kind of get blurred when you shower then you got to go work out then you got to shower again you know take a little quick you know so i was like okay I was kind of scared to do it without, I mean, once a day, I kind of got scared. So I feel like I was doing it every time I shower or bathe. But um, one night I tried it, no moisture. I feel like it's stopping the, the sweat. And that had been really hot. It's really confusing, but it's amazing at the same time. Like, please try this. Please, please, please try this. I feel like it's great. Especially, I actually feel like it's working to lighten up um, accor according to the evidence on the cotton pad. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, I'm going to be using the glycolic acid one now because I got this one. Got to buy more lactic. I'm leaving. I'm keeping my lactic to myself this time, y'all. I really am. But yeah, the Ordinary brand. This is the one I'm using. The one that everybody has went viral about. And it's seven percent, so I'm excited because no deodorant. I mean, I thought I was doing the damn thing using aluminum free deodorant, but like, I get the lighten up my hyperpigmentation under my arms, and then not be musty. This is amazing. <laughs> so yeah, uh, please try this, and don't forget to come back to this video or message me on Instagram let me know how or twitter let me know how y'all like this definitely a game changer especially when you up under a man you might get a little hot you don't want to be too wet. no odor no odor like i'm trying not to be dramatic but bro it's in effect right now <laughs> no odor disclaimer when i say no deodorant I mean, um, no deodorant 100% 100 of the time. What I'm going to start doing is when I apply it in the morning time. Um, after my workouts, if I have to shower, that, that 
that time in between the second shower and like bedtime where I take my bedtime shower, um, I'll possibly just be wearing like regular deodorant. Um, not regular deodorant, but like, you know, my aluminum free deodorant. So I can like give myself a break. You know what I'm saying? Like if I go out after I work out and I wash it off, then I still have some protection there. But this, I feel like it only needs to be applied once a day. And I'm probably going to be doing it in the morning time. So anything after that, I'll probably just put a little, you know, a little deodorant, -dodal, you know, under my arms over there. I just wanted to clarify that. So yeah, uh, you new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. I, I'm vlogging. May is the month of vlogs. Participate, like this video, leave a comment. Tell me what, what sparked your interest. Are you going to try this or what? Or you just want a guy's favor who don't have to worry about odor and you don't wear the sweat a lot. Like, let me know in the comments. Thank y'all for watching and I will see you guys in the next vlog. Um, I'm working on setting the days. Bye. <laughs>